Hello guys, support us and subscribe to our channel, give likes and write comments. Today we will read Life's Sparkling Wonder. Well, let's get started. Once upon a time, in a small village, nestled in the heart of a lush forest, there lived a young girl named Sophia. Sophia was a curious and adventurous child, always eager to explore the world around her. She spent her days climbing trees, splashing in the streams, and discovering new and exciting things in the forest. One day, while wandering deep in the woods, Sophia stumbled upon a beautiful, sparkling crystal. She picked it up and held it up to the light. Marveling at the way it caught the sun's rise and cast them back in a dazzling array of colors. Sophia knew in that moment that she had found something truly special. From that day on, Sophia carried the crystal with her wherever she went, treasuring it like a precious gem. She would spend hours gazing into its depth, lost in the wonder of its beauty. As Sophia grew older, she began to understand the true value of the crystal. It wasn't just a pretty object, but a symbol of the beauty and wonder that existed all around her. She realized that life itself was a precious gift, full of wonder and magic, and that it was her duty to cherish and appreciate it every day. Sophia started to look at the world with different eyes. Every day she would find something new and exciting, a butterfly's wing, a dew drop on a leaf, a colorful pebble. She started to collect the small treasures and put them in a little box, where she would look at them every evening before going to sleep. Sophia grew up to be a wise woman, respected and loved by the people in her village. She always had a kind word and a smile for everyone, and her love for life was contagious. Sophia would often take children from the village for walks in the woods, showing them the beauty of nature and teaching them to appreciate the simple things in life. She would also share her little box of treasures with them showing them how even the smallest things can bring joy. Sophia lived a long and happy life, filled with joy and love for the world and all its wonders. She never forgot the lesson she learned from her crystal, to always see the beauty in the world and to appreciate the gift of life. Even when she got old and could no longer walk in the woods, she would sit on her porch and watch the world go by, still finding beauty in the smallest things. Her love for life was an inspiration to all who knew her, and her memory will be cherished forever. This story reminds us that we should appreciate the beauty and wonder in the world around us and to cherish the gift of life every day. We should never stop exploring and discovering new things and we should always look for the beauty in the small things because that's what makes life worth living. Let us all learn from Sophia and make our lives a treasure box of beautiful memories. After Sophia passed away, 
the villagers decided to build a small garden in her honor. The garden was filled with all the beautiful flowers and plants that Sophia loved, and in the center of the garden they placed a large crystal similar to the one Sophia had found in the woods so many years ago. The crystal was placed on the pedestal and around it they planted a ring of small flowers and plants. Sophia's little box of treasures was also placed in the garden as a way to remember her and the lessons she taught. The garden became a popular spot for the villagers, especially for the children. They would often visit the garden, play around the crystal and explore the box of treasures. They would also learn about Sophia's life, her love for nature and her appreciation for the beauty of the small things. Many of the children started to explore the woods more often, looking for small treasures of their own and started to learn about the different plants and animals that lived there. The garden was not only a reminder of Sophia, but also a place for inspiration. Many people found new perspectives and started to see the world differently. Some would start to collect small treasures, like Sophia did, and others would start to take regular walks in the woods. The village was filled with a new spirit of love and appreciation for life, and it all began with Sophia's legacy. Years passed, the village grew and changed, new houses were built, and new people came to live in the village. But the garden remained a constant, a sanctuary, where people could go to remember Sophia and to find inspiration. The crystal continued to sparkle in the sunlight, and the little box of treasures continued to be a source of wonder. The garden became a place where people would come to relax, to reflect, and to find peace. Many people would come to the garden to meditate, to read a book, or to have a picnic. Sophia's love for life and her appreciation for the beauty of the small things will be remembered and cherished by the village for generations to come. The garden was not only a testament to Sophia's life, but also a reminder for the village of the importance of cherishing and appreciating the beauty of the world around us. The garden was a symbol of hope, of love, and of inspiration, and it will continue to be a place where people can come to find peace and to remember Sophia's legacy. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Lily May. She lived on a secret island called Maluai, which was located near Australia. Lily May loved flowers more than anything else in the world. She spent all her days exploring the island, looking for new and beautiful types of flowers. Lily May's favorite spot of the island was a secret garden that only she knew about. The garden was filled with all sorts of colorful flowers and Lily May 
would often spend hours there, admiring their beauty and taking care of them. One day, while Lily May was out exploring, she stumbled upon a new type of flower that she had never seen before. It was a beautiful pink and purple color, and it had a sweet scent that reminded Lily May of honey. She was so excited about her discovery that she ran back to her secret garden to plant it. As the weeks went by, the new flower began to grow and bloom. Lily May watched it carefully, and soon it was the most beautiful flower in her garden. She named it the Honey Flower, and it became her new favorite. Years went by. Lily May spent all her time on the island, taking care of her flowers and exploring for new ones. She loved her life on the island and was happy to be surrounded by such beauty. But as she grew older, Lily May started to realize that she wanted to share her love of flowers with others. So, she made a decision to invite visitors to the island to show them her secret garden and the beautiful flowers that grew there. Lily May began to guide tours of her garden, showing of the different flowers and the unique characteristics of each one. She also taught visitors about the importance of preserving nature and the delicate balance of ecosystems. Her tours became popular and people from all over the world began to come to Malua to see her garden. As Lily May's garden grew, so did her reputation as a gardener and a nature enthusiast. She became known as the Flower Queen of Malua, and her garden became a destination for botanists and nature lovers alike. Lily May spent the rest of her days showing people from all over the world the beauty of her island and its flowers, spreading joy and happiness everywhere she went. Despite the challenges she faced, Lily May was determined to keep her garden going, always finding new and innovative ways to improve and expand it. Her hard work paid off, and her garden remains one of the most beautiful and biodiverse places in the world. It was a constant reminder of Lily May's passion and dedication to the natural world and her love for flowers. As Lily May grew older, she began to worry about what would happen to her garden once she was no longer able to take care of it. She knew that it was not only a place of beauty, but also a vital ecosystem for the many plants and animals that called the island home. Lily May decided that she needed to find a way to preserve her garden for future generations. She began to reach out to botanists and conservationists, sharing her knowledge and inviting them to study her garden. Together, they discovered that many of the plants in Lily May's garden were unique to the island and were at risk of extinction if the garden was not protected. 
Lily May and her team worked tirelessly to document and preserve the different species of plants and insects that lived in the garden. Thanks to Lily May's efforts, her garden was declared a protected area and was eventually turned into a nature reserve. This ensured that it would remain a sanctuary for the plants and animals that called the island home for generations to come. Even after her passing, Lily May's legacy lived on through her beloved garden. Visitors from all over the world continue to come to Maluai to see the stunning array of flowers and learn about conservation from the expert guides who continue Lily May's work. Lily May's name also remembered with honor as the named one of the rarest flower they found on island, Lilium May in her honor. She may have passed away, but her memory and the beauty of her garden will live on forever. Her love and passion for the natural world will always be an inspiration to those who visit Maluai and learn of her story. Thank you! Learn English with us easily and fun. Support us and subscribe to our channel. Give likes and write comments. Watch new videos on our channel every day. See you soon and bye-bye!